Hi, this is Dave Weiss. We're looking at a 1970 Barracuda Grand Coupe with air conditioning and power windows. Grand Coupe on the door panel. Certainly you see the inserts found on Grand Coupes. It certainly has the interior with the Grand Coupe. Seats, Grand Coupe only. But what's interesting about this, this car was a very clean vehicle, more than likely a clean survivor. And we want to point out a detail that is often missed by most restorers relative to some dimples and holes that are found on the right hand inner fender. As you see on this vehicle, there are three dimples behind the cruise control module. So three of the dimples are very rarely ever used. The fourth dimple is if this car would have been a dual trim tag car, you would have had a dimple there that the screw for the other tag would have been placed. And the other one I want to point out is when you're securing down the pressure line for the air conditioner, there is always a dimple right next to the trim tag screw. And that is where this is positioned and screwed in place there in the assembly of a vehicle. Let's take a look at this trim tag while we're here. It is very original. BP27, now the, now the paint code is actually FT6. So obviously there's been some work done on this vehicle, but nevertheless, I wanna point out original body shop stamp right there in the upper, upper right hand corner. P31, P37, 26, 26 inch radiator, which uh, you know that is because of the H51. And if you notice, this particular tag also has C62 on it. There is no code for the glass. Tinted glass comes with the H51 package. So again, just to, just to recap this left-hand inner fender, which is so important, often overlooked, are these shallow holes that are often filled by restorers incorrectly. They should be left in place this one was done proper. It is our cruise control. You can see the routing of the cruise control. Actually, there's a clip for the AC that goes at the top of the cowl, and that is missing. So while we're at it, we also checked the VIN numbers. The VIN number is stamped right on the face of the radiator core support facing the radiator. The other VIN number that we've checked out, body code stamp, is right there next to the cowl screen. Then we checked, obviously, the VIN tag. VIN tag is original. It's in great shape. So a couple of the other little features that we always look for on these vehicles is the dial out stamp numbers. There's one there. This is the one that is a little more meaningful to us based on the production period of the car. 048. Conditioning is all in place. This cap is certainly incorrect. That cap is incorrect, but nevertheless, it's a good looking clean car. We'll show you more videos on this vehicle 
in upcoming segments. But certainly hope you hopefully you enjoy this content and will subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. If there's any videos you specifically want to see, any details of anything, again, please reach out to us and we'll try to accommodate as best as possible. We're always producing content for our YouTube channel and we have no intent on stopping. As you know, we produce a number of reference manuals. This sort of information we pick up always goes into our reference manuals. And of course, here's a little detail I just picked up. Valve cover, left hand valve cover, incorrect for a 1970. Dipstick position is right. Um, color's incorrect. But there again, it's pretty much fairly correct. It's something to work with. We'll certainly, you know, formally validate this car. There'll be a report on the car moving forward. And everything has been documented on this exceptionally clean 1970 Barracuda Grand Coupe 383.